Welcome to the investment management class. I am Impa Valiappa, Associate Professor, Department of Management Sciences, Maharaja Institute of Technology, Mysore. Previously, we have discussed theory of unit 6, in which we have discussed uh, various random work theory, we discussed behavioral finance and few of the other concepts, if forms of efficient market and measures of, uh, uh, measures of evaluation. All these we have learned in 6th unit. In today's class, we will be solving problems related to unit 6, which is how to evaluate a portfolio or mutual fund. So, this is uh, related to Sharpe, Trainer and Jensen's measure. Very important, 10 marks question is guaranteed. So, let us uh, start with the first problem. We will start uh, with August, September 2020 question paper. I will write here. It is 18 scheme. Question is five C. Okay, five C. I'll read out the question for you. The following three portfolios provided provide the particulars given below. Portfolio A, B, C market is given. Annual average return is given that is 18, 14, 15, 13. Standard deviation is given which is 27, 18, 8 and 12. And uh, correlation coefficient is given 0 0.8, 0 0.6 and 0 0.9. Market they have given return as 13 and standard deviation as 12. Risk free rate of interest is 9 and they said rank these portfolios using Sharpe and trainers measure. Okay, so they have asked only two measures. Let's start with Sharpe's measure. Sharpe's measure. The formula for this is RP minus RF divided by standard deviation. RP minus RF divided by standard deviation P. So there are stocks A. Let's start with A stock. A stock. RP is 14, RF is 9 divided by standard deviation of that is 27, okay. So, let us uh, solve this first, 14 minus 9, it is 5 divided by 27, I get 18.51, okay. So, this is Oh, sorry, I have made a mistake. This is not 14, it is 18. Okay, so 18 minus 9 is 9. So 9 divided by 27, we get 0 0.33. Okay, let's go to B. The return of B is 14. Okay, so 14 and 18. 14 minus 9 divided by 18. So, it is 5 divided by 18, you get 0 0.2777, it will recur in. So, I will write 0 0.278. Let us go to security C. Security C, they have said it is 15 and 8. So, I will write here 15 minus 8, uh, sorry, 15 minus 9 divided by 8. Okay, so 15 minus 9 is 6. 6 divided by 8 is 0 0.75. So, this is Sharpe's measure. It is very easy and guaranteed problem. So, let us go with trainer's measure. Trainer's measure. The formula is uh, quite similar to this. RP minus RF divided by beta P. This is the only change. Beta P is the only change. So, let us do stock A. Okay, the same 18 minus 9 divided by only the beta will change. So, what is the beta? Okay, the beta is not given in the problem. So, when beta is not given in the problem, we have to calculate beta for this. So, where shall we calculate? So, what we will do is, 
will just erase this and will write calculation of beta. Calculation of beta. So here uh, they have given correlation and they have given standard deviation. Using that what we will do is we will uh, put in a formula which we normally use for beta that is beta is equal to r into standard deviation p standard deviation divided by standard deviation m. So this is the formula which we are going to use. So beta is equal to r the into standard deviation p divided by standard deviation m. So I am going to uh, do the first one which is the r is 0 0.8 and standard deviation p is 27 divided by standard deviation of the market is 12. So 27 divided by 12. So the beta for the first portfolio, we will just see how much. 27 divided by 12 into 0 0.8. So we get 1.8 is the beta. So this is a separate calculation. Next, we will go to the second stock. In the same way, second stock, it is 0 0.6. 0 0.6 and it is standard deviation is 18 and 18 and 12 is common. Standard deviation of market is common for all. Okay. So, 18 divided by 12 into 0 0.6, we get 0 0.9. So, 0 0.9 is the beta of second uh, portfolio. Let us go to the third portfolio. Third portfolio, it is 0 0.9 and 8. Okay. 8 divided by 12. So, 8 divided by divided by 12 into, into 0 0.9. 8 divided by 12 into 0 0.9. We get 0 0.6. So, 0 0.6 is the answer. Okay. So, we have got all the three betas. For these three betas, we will be using it in the formula. Now let us come back to the uh, problem which we were solving. So first we will go into do A security. So A security RP minus RF is RP is 18, RF is 9 divided by beta you have to put. We have calculated the beta 1.8. So let us simplify this. 9 divided by 1.8. Eight. So, you get us 5. So, the answer for the first one, it is 5. Let us go for the second one. 14 minus 9. 14 is RP. RF is 9. RF is also common for all. Divided by the beta is 0 0.9. Okay. So, 9 it is 5. 5 divided by 0 0.9. It is 5.55555 you get. So, I will write 5.56. Okay. Let us move on to third one. Third one it is 15 minus 9 divided by the beta of third one is 0 0.6. So, 9 it is 6 divided by 0 0.6 and the answer is 10. Okay. Now, we have already solved the problem. Once we finish solving the problem, we need to uh, do the table so that we can put up the ranks and evaluate and tell which portfolio or which mutual fund is better. Okay, for that I will just erase this. I will put it in the tabular form. I am retaining the answers. So, like this, we are going to put the table. 
here I am going to write the portfolio. So it is A, B and C. Here I will write sharp A and Rainer. So this is how I have I will sum up the data. So this is the portfolio and this is the answer for the first uh, sharp A's measure and this is these are the answers for the uh, trainer's measure. Now when we evaluate let's we have to give the ranking so normally when we give the ranking it is always the highest one will get a higher ranking so in this first second and third okay and in the same way let's rank the trainer's measure first second and third so in this we can clearly see that Portfolio C is better because when compared to the Sharpe's measure and trainer's measure, you can see that it is earning good return and it is in the first position. So, you have to invest in C portfolio. Understood? Probably you might have understood this problem. This is a very easy uh, problem. Okay. And okay, this is done. Let us move on to the next problem. So, Next question paper problem which we will be solving is, uh, yeah, December 2018, Jan 2019, that problem will solve. I will clear the board first. Okay, and then I will clear this. December 2018, Jan 2019. It is 16-17 scheme. And question is 5C. The question number is 5C. Okay, I will read out the question for you. Consider the following information for three mutual funds A, B and C and the market. Okay, so they have given the mean return standard deviation beta of A, B, C. A is 12, mean return of A is 12, B is 10 and C is 13. Market index it is 11. Standard deviation of A is 11, uh, sorry standard deviation of A is 18, B is 15. C is 20, market index is 17, beta of A is 1.1, B is 0 0.9, C is 1.2, market index it is always 1. So the mean risk free rate was 6%. Calculate the trainer's measure, Sharpe's measure and Jensen's measure for the three mutual funds and the market index. So this uh, is similar to the previous problem what we did but there are few changes. Let us see what are the different changes. When coming to the, we will start with the Sharpe's measure. Here, I will start with stock A. Here also it is A, B, C only. They have given 12 and 18. So, I will put 12 minus the risk free rate is 6 and standard deviation is 18. Okay. So, 12 minus 6 divided by 18. Let us simplify this. 12 minus 6 is 6 divided by 18. You get 0 0.333. Let us go to B. Here for B they have given the data 10 and 15. Okay. So 10 is the return and 15 is the standard deviation. So 10 minus 6 is 4. 4 divided by 15 is 0 0.266666. So I will take 0.267 or else you can take 0.27 no problem okay then the third one third one is 13 and 20 so 13 minus 6 divided by 20 13 minus 6 is 7 7 divided by 20 is 0.35 okay so we have got sharpest measure let us move on to trainers measure okay Trainer's measure, I will start with A stock, 12 minus 6, this is common, we have to go for beta. Luckily in the problem, they have given the beta unit not calculated. 
So for the first one, it is 1.1. So 6 divided by 1.1 is 5.45. Okay. So I'll write the answer 5.45. And next we'll do the second one, which is B. For the B, it is 10 minus 6. The beta of this is 0 0.9. 0 0.9 so 4 divided by 0 0.9 is 4.44 and last one it is 1.2 so 13 minus 6 divided by 1.2 okay so 13 minus 6 is 7 divided by 1.2 is 5.83 so now we have solved Sharpe trainer. Yeah, and they have said calculate for the market also, which I forgot. See in the line they have said uh, calculate the trainer's measure, Sharpe's measure, and Jensen's measure for the three mutual funds and the market index. So for the market index also we have to do, which I forgot. So I'll do here market index for the market they have given fourteen. Right? Yeah. Sorry, no. 11. 11 and 17. Yeah, 11 and 17. 11 minus 6 divided by 17. So, how much does this come? 5 divided by 17. We get 0 0.29. We get 0 0.29. In the same way, we will do the trainer's measure also. So, it is 11 minus 6. And already I have told you that beta for the market is always 1. So, 11 minus 6 you get as uh, 11, right? Yeah, 11 minus 6 you get as 5. So, and 5 divided by 1 is 5. Okay, that you have already got. So, let's move on. To the next one, yeah, to the next one which is Jensen's measure. So, now what I will do is, meanwhile I will prepare the table also because I might not remember the answers of everything. So, I will just prepare the table. When uh, we do the comparison of uh, Sharpe trainer and Jensen, we normally do not compare the market, we only compare the returns. So, this is the answer of trainer's measure. Here only I will extend in order to write the answer of Jensen. And uh, Sharpe, I know the answer 0 0.33 and 0 0.267, 0 0.35. Okay, and here I will write the portfolios A. B and C. So, I have written all the data. Jensen's measure is remaining which I will do now. Okay, let us begin with Jensen's measure. Okay, the formula for Jensen's measure is Alpha P, Rp minus Rf, okay, Rp minus Rf plus beta Rm minus Rf. So, this is the formula for Jensen's measure. Okay, let us place it with the answers. First is A stock, Rp of A is 12. So, I will write 12 minus Rf is 6 plus beta is 1.1 Rm. Rm is written on market which is 11. 11 minus 6. Okay, this is the substitution. So, what we need to do is do not go from this way. We will evaluate the brackets first. So, 11 minus 6 is 5, 5 into 1.1 is 5.5 plus 6 that is 11.5. So, the first one I will write 11.5. So, 12 minus 11.5 is 0 
okay next is b b also i'm going to substitute in the same way so written as 10 so 10 minus 6 rf rf is 6 plus beta is 0 0.9 0 0.9 11 minus 6 is common because market and RF is common for call. So, 11 minus 6 is 5. 5 into 0 0.9 you get is 4.5. 4.5 plus 6 you get is 10.5. So, 10 minus 10.5 you are going to get it is minus 0 0.5. Okay, let me write these two answers. So, I get space to work out. So, this is 0 0.5 and this is minus 0 0.5. Okay, let's go to C. C, RP of C is 13. 13 minus RF is 6 plus beta is 1.2 rm is 11 minus 6 okay so here 11 minus 6 is 5 5 into 1.2 i get a 6 6 plus 6 is 12 so 13 minus 12 i get 1 okay so this is jensen's measure so i've got a 1 now comes the, I've done the calculation part. Now to give the conclusion. Let's, uh, I put it in the tabular form. So let's give the ranking first. So this is 1 and this is 2 and this is 3 according to Sharpen. Let's next is 1, 2 and this is 3. And next is 1, 2. So, I have done the calculation part and I have also done the ranking part. Now, as per the ranking, you can clearly see this that the portfolio C is performing very well as in the Sharpe's measure, trainer's measure and Jensen's measure, it is at the top. So, you should invest in C security. Okay, hopefully you have understood this. Uh, and let's go to another question. So I just erase this. Let's see which question paper we are solving next. Okay. We are solving uh, December 2017, Jan 2017, 14 scheme. December 2017, Jan 2018, 14 scheme. We are solving case study. We are solving case study. I will read out the case study for you. Following information is provided regarding the performance of blue chip fund, leading sector fund and contra fund for a period of last 6 months. Risk free rate of interest is assumed to be 5%. Rank the funds with the help of Sharpe's index and discuss, trainer's index and discuss, distinguish between open end and close end mutual fund and give a brief explanation of NSC Nifty. So, they have given RP that is written of blue chip companies 25.38, leading sector it is 25.11 and uh, contra is 25.01. Standard deviation P is 4 uh, of blue chip company, leading sector it is 9.01, contra it is 3.55 and beta of blue chip company is 0 0.23, beta of leading sector is 0 0.56 and beta of contra is 0 0.59. So, we will be solving this problem and they have said uh, accordingly to do Sharpe and trainer. So, let us begin the first question that is Sharpe's measure. Sharpe's measure the formula is RP 
P minus R F divided by standard deviation P. So first is blue chip company. Blue chip company the return is 25.38. So 25.38 R F they have said is uh, 5 and standard deviation they have said is 4. So let's simplify this. 25.38 minus 5 divided by 4. You get 5.095. Next is leading sector. I am writing the short forms. The return is 25.11. 25.11 minus 5. Standard deviation is 9.01. So let's simplify this. 25.11 minus 5, that is 20.11 divided by 9.01. You get 2.2, Let's Next, next one, next one is contra, contra. So the contra is 25.01, 25.01 minus 5 divided by the last one is 3.55. 3.55 is the standard deviation. So again it is 20.01 divided by 3.55. You have got 5.63666. So I will put 5.64. So this is Sharpe. Next I will do trainer's measure. This is question number B. Trainers measure. So the formula is RP minus RF divided by beta P. Okay. First we'll start with blue chip. The data is 25.38 minus 5 is common. Now let's see what is the beta. 0.23 so 25.38 minus 5 divided by 0.23 I get 88.61 I'll put because it is 608 next is leading sector leading sector it is 25.11 minus 5 let's see how much is the beta 56 so it was 0 0.56. So this is 25.11 minus 5 is 20.11 divided by 0 0.56. It is 35.91. Okay. Next is contra. 25, yeah, 25.01 minus 5 divided by beta is 0 0.59. 0 0.59 25 um, if you do 20 25.01 minus 5 you get 20.01 divided by 0 0.59 okay you get 33.91 okay so first and second question i have solved but they have asked us to discuss about it which we will be doing it now in the form of table form Okay, it is all positive returns, it is all good. So for doing the table forms, I will just clear this out and retain the answers. Okay, this is trainer. This is Sharpe, I will write the answers 5.095. 2.23, 5.64 and it is blue chip company, leading sector company and contra. These are the company portfolios, company portfolios or mutual funds. Okay, it is mutual funds. Okay, so this is the data which I have put it in the tabular form. Let's give the ranking for this. 
So ranking when we give this is 1, this is 2 and this is 3 and here it is 1 and 2 and 3. Okay, done? Okay, I put the ranking. Now we, it is time to discuss for us. So here blue chip companies are there, leading sector is there and contra sector is there where um, in Sharpay's measure, contra company blue fund is getting first place whereas in trainer's measure, blue chip company is getting first place. So this leading sector is eliminated because that is low in ranking when compared to both. Now we are going to compare the secondary ranking. The secondary ranking for contra it is 3 but for blue chip it is 2. So we are going to invest in blue chip shares or blue chip mutual funds. Is this clear? So this is how you have to discuss if any of the ranks are clashing then you have to look for the secondary ranking and whichever has got the highest secondary ranking you have to go with that. Highest in the sense, first, second, third in that level. First is highest, then second, then third. Okay. This is about second question. The third question they have asked is distinguish between open end and close end mutual funds. Um, I have done the theory in the class, but even then I will just brief it on. Open end uh, mutual funds will be open for a specific period of time. Uh, sorry, uh, will be open for the entire period of time and you can do any buying and selling of the mutual funds with the company. Close end uh, mutual fund is a fund where it will be open only for a specific period of time and when they initially issue and then later on it will be listed in the secondary market where you have to trade. You can give, cannot give back it to the company where you have to trade in the secondary market. If you want to buy, sell, you have to do it in the secondary market. Whereas open-ended mutual fund, it will be open throughout uh, the issue until the maturity and uh, whenever you want, you can buy the buy and sell the mutual fund. That is known as open-ended mutual fund. Okay. And the fourth question they have given is, give a brief explanation of NSE Nifty. Okay, NSA is National Stock Exchange. Nifty is the sensitive index of NSA. Okay, now Nifty is the sensitive index of uh, sensitive index of NSA means the we normally call it as Nifty 50. Means the top 50 companies are selected in order to uh, see whether the market is raising in in a raising trend or a falling trend. These companies can be selected on the basis of their market capitalization, on the basis of their demand and supply uh, of shares, uh, how is the demand and top companies are selected for the composition of this nifty, okay, top 50 companies. These 50 companies uh, prices are average like how they raise and how they fall depending on these companies the nifty index will be framed that is the reason you have got the nifty index fluctuating and now it is in like in, it is always in the increasing trend from 8000 to now it is more than 30000 okay so this is how the trend moves and uh, when we uh, see this nifty nifty is like a uh, uh, projection for the rest of the companies. So if Nifty is increasing, it means that most of the companies in the stock market are in the increasing trend. If Nifty dec is decreasing, then it is it showcases that most of the companies are at the decreasing trend. So that is Nifty 50. It is from the standard and proving rating scale, and we also call it as CNX Nifty. Okay, hopefully you have understood this. And the headquarters of NSC it is in Mumbai. Okay. Uh, so, this is about the case study. It is all 5 5 marks. Sharpay 5 marks, trainer 5 marks. Um, the difference between open end and close end uh, mutual fund it is 5 marks and nifty 50, uh, NSE nifty it is 5 marks. Okay. Hopefully, you have understood this concept. This is a, um, it is very mandatory or compulsory to read this uh, or study or understand and learn this problem. It is, it will definitely come for your exam. Okay. Thank you. Uh, in the next class, let us. Uh, start doing more other problems on this with the variations. Okay, thank you.